Hey and welcome back. Next, let's work on our reset layout. It is the layout the user will see when they reset their password. It will ask them to input their new password. All right, I will jump back into VS Code. I'm going to close everything except the login component. Now I want to create my reset layout. So in the next few minutes, we're going to create another route. And when the user hit that route, it's going to render out our reset layout. So open my sidebar and inside layouts, I'm going to create another folder called reset layout. And then inside that folder, I'm going to create two new files. First is the component and I will name it reset layout.js. And then reset layout.scss. I will split screen that. I'm going to collapse my sidebar. First, I want to import my variables. Inside my components, variables, and then the variable sas file, semicolon. I also want to import my global style. It is in my public folder. Inside my access, inside CSS, and it's going to be the main SAS file, semicolon. Next, I'm going to define a class, and I'm going to say reset underscore P. I want it text aligned to be center. Color will be yellow. The font weight will be 300. I want a margin top of 3M. The text transform will be uppercase. And the cursor will be pointer give that a save jump into my reset layout first i want to import the style sheet so reset layout dot css and then define my component reset layout it's going to have the same structure as our odd layout so i will give it a div with a class name of auth layout. Inside that we have our logo, followed by our form, and then our actions. So for the logo, there is a div with a class name of auth layout underscore logo. Inside that there's an image I will look into my assets folder inside my image folder and use the shuttle.svg for the alt I will say logo now I will go down to my actions I want a p tag with the class name of reset underscore p I also want an on click feature and set that to handle click Inside the p tag, I will say login. Next, I want to use an available prop called history and then define my handle click function. So I will say const handle click is equal to an arrow function. And I want to use history dot push to the home route. So whenever the user click on login, they will be redirect to the home route. Give that a quick save. Next, I want to create my reset component. It is the component that have the password inputs. So open my sidebar, navigate to my component folders, create a new folder called reset. And then inside that folder, create my component. So reset.js, collapse my sidebar. First, I'm going to import my input and then define the component as reset. Inside, I want a form, remove the action. Inside that, the first input will have a text of password. Duplicate this line and the text is going to be confirmed password. Now navigate to my login component, copy the two icons. Paste it here, 
I also want to copy the icon logic, which is down here. Paste it here. Go back one more time and copy these two lines. Paste it here for password. And then also for confirm password. Give it a quick save. I also need to define the handle click. Copy this line and also paste it here for confirm password. Next, I want the button. So a div tag with a class name of login underscore btn. Inside that, a button and I will say reset. Next, I'm going to scroll up and import my use state hook. Give that a quick save. Navigate back to my reset layout. Import my reset component. And then I'll put it here in the form section. Give that a save. Now I want to open up my app.js file and define a new route for my reset layout. So I will say route. The path will be forward slash auth forward slash reset slash password forward slash semicolon token I want it to be the exact path and the component I want it to render will be my reset layout tap that and it will auto import for me give that a quick save so this part right here semicolon token it is a dynamic token that we're going to send to the user when we set up our server for a better explanation, I would jump into my front end and then click forgot. So when the user want to reset the password, they will put their email here and then our server will send out an email and inside that email is going to be a link plus the token. And when the user click on that link, it will render out our reset component where they can reset their password. All right, let's jump back to VS code. And I made a mistake in my uh, reset layout i put an extra period give that a save and also over here instead of uppercase i meant to type capitalize give that a quick save now check out my front end so our new route was forward slash auth forward slash reset slash password and there's a dynamic token so just press anything press enter and this is our reset layout component and this is actually going to wrap up the lesson and i'll see you in the next lesson